Hello, this is How To Bob, and I made this video to show you how to do a light rebuild on the iRobot Roomba Model 561. Got the parts package here. You can see all the little parts that came with the package, and we also have a new battery that we're going to go ahead and replace on the Roomba here. So we're going to get started rebuilding this Roomba. Hopefully it'll start working new again. It's the iBot iRobot Roomba. I'm going to start by taking out the dirt collector and we'll set that off to the side. And then we're going to turn the Roomba upside down. I'm going to open the brush cage next and I'll remove the two rollers, the brush roller and the other roller as well because I have replacements for those. And then I'm going to take off my three-pronged brush here. There's one Phillips screw in the center. If I can get that out of there. And then all that's left to do is pull up on this brush assembly. Now there's not even any brushes on this one, so it definitely needs replaced. Now to replace the battery, what I need to do is remove the four screws around the outside here. And once I get all four screws out, the bottom cover We'll just lift off and the battery is located right in the front here and there's two little tabs all it takes to remove is pull it up there's no wiring and you can see there's two little tabs down there they go here and here down on these and they only fit in one way because there's a little bump at the front of the battery so it just slides down in there and you can hear the noise of the new battery going in so then i take my bottom cover put it back in place and I'll tighten down the four screws holding in the bottom cover once I get all those tightened up I'm gonna go ahead and get my rollers out I got this kit online and it came with a lot of different pieces that you might need to rebuild a Roomba so I'm gonna put my let me put my brush on here, my sweeper brush here, and that just slides down in. It's a real easy install here. And just put the Phillips screw back in. And that's taken care of. So I'll open up my brush cage here. And I'll put my two rollers in. They'll only fit in the one way. One side is larger than the other. And just slides into place into the slots. And then my brush, again, it only fit in the one way. It snaps into place, then I can close my brush, brush cage. And then I wanna replace the filter in the collection unit here. You can see this one's pretty much worn out and dirty. It's been cleaned too many times. So here's my new one, snap that into place. And then I can close my collection bay up and slide it back into the unit and that's how you rebuild the iRobot Roomba 561 I'm How to Bob thanks for watching